Welcome to the third part in the Going Through Computer Stuff series that I've just made up. Um, I started to go through some of this box right here, and then I started hearing noises, and I realized it was my dad working on his computer remotely from 500 miles away. It was kind of weird, kind of creepy, because I'm alone, or home alone right now. Um, you know, when a phone starts ringing and it's making noises, it's kind of weird. So, yeah, we've got USB headers, more USB headers, uh, some USB connectors, some SATA connectors, a... Oh, where was it? It was kind of interesting here. It's a Molex and SATA. It looks like just something that takes the... Oh, what's it called? <laughs> takes the connection. That's a weird word not to think of, and puts it just out the back of the computer. I don't know why you would need a Molex connector on the back of the computer. Or really a SATA for that matter. I haven't I don't have a use for that, but I'm still gonna keep it around. Um some DVDI, a kinda of badly made Cat5 cable. What's this? PS2 port extender. Some little connector, probably a front panel. Oh, I've been looking for one of these. This is like if you have a dual or uh, two ports in the back of your power supply, one which you can plug a monitor into, um, so it only occupies one power outlet. I don't know how to explain it, but I have one of them on the back of my Power Mac. Um, a nice blue power cable. What's this? A VGA. Not very heavy duty one, but it's always nice to have them around. What's the... more power cords. Great. Now I gotta find space for more power cords. Damn it. Uh, another one of those connectors. I just saw. This is rather interesting. Say composite video but it's that new and improved kind I don't recall the name to S video not S video something else I'll have to do a little research on that one it's all a learning experience and that's what I do it for a more of a heavy duty VGA cable VGA Like a pair of glasses. Asus brand. I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna set the camera down first. I don't know what the hell these things are. Long cord. Long cord. Well, here they are. I think they're glasses. Asus brand. They've got a cord coming off of it that just looks like an audio cord. But I don't see any speakers in here. It's so bizarre. I don't know what the hell it could be. I'll have to do some research on that. That actually might be interesting if it's like a kind of going out there, but maybe a virtual reality thing. I just don't know. Um. There's this Lumix, so it's a camera, a special um, Panasonic camera to, uh, whatever the hell you call it, video out. There's an Apple DVI to VGA. I actually need one of these for my Mac Mini. Awesome. Sweet. Um, just a regular DVI to VGA. A video to... I, I, got, I wish I could remember the name of this, because now I sound really stupid. I have them on the back of my Wii, which I haven't used in God knows how long. Um, a male to female DVI connector. I think that's Apple or some, some off-brand. Ethernet cable. Another one of these things that's braided kind of nicely. And, oh, it's not an HDMI, it's something else. 
NVIDIA it's special connector there to DVI. Hmm. I'll have to look up that too. Probably staying right in the light too. Alright. VGA to a very simple DVI. Um, PS2 connectors. Some more power cords. That VGA cable I just showed you earlier. Power cord. <laughs> VGA. Oh, it's a VGA to a very interesting hookup. Huh. That's interesting. Never seen one of those. Oops, never seen one of those before. I got a lot of research into today. Uh, there's another one of those weird connectors. It's not quite HDMI. To DVI, a audio video cord, and another little connector there. HDMI to or not HDMI, DVI to VGA. I've been up really late last night. I was up at like 2 in the morning, and I'm tired, if you can't tell. Well, I scratched the top of that up, mercilessly. There's an IBM e-server, X-Series 305. My dad's actually got two of the same, well, they're the one U server style, but it's a little bit longer and probably a lot faster. And... The guy I got it from, he also said that this thing sounds like a jet engine trying to start up whenever you turn it on. Interesting. We've got a 17-inch um, monitor keyboard drawer. These, I've, I've heard about these, and they actually sound pretty cool. I've seen one in uh, when I went to work with my dad years ago, um, when the office was still open, didn't he work, and he, let's start over, I saw one of these a few years ago when I went to work with my dad, um, when he worked in the office before the office closed down and he began to work from home, they usually went in a server rack mount, the one you, um, yeah, now I'm not sure, I believe this is just... Ooh, that scared the crap out of me. It slides forward. Cool. And now I think I just broke it. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that doesn't have a stopper on it. Um, and now either I've locked it or I've broken it. So, yeah. It's kind of... It's not going anywhere. What I was saying before I probably just broke it was, I wonder if this is an actual computer, or just the dock. Like, you plug in the VGA and the PS2 things to it. Because right there it says VGA keyboard mouse, and mouse keyboard, it's got a power thing. I believe these are just um, extensions, but I don't know. I'll have to plug stuff into this and... Take a look, because it's kind of cool. I want to use it, but I feel like it's just really, really inconvenient to use. Uh, I got the trackpad. It's not bad. Not bad at all. King Reed. Don't know who there. Um, God damn it. I hope this thing's just locked, because if I broke it, I'm going to be kind of pissed off. Not going to worry about it. All right, well, we're at nine minutes. Let's go over and look at... I'll go through all these, test them later. They're just monitors. Um, ViewSonic, I think that's like a 20-inch, 20-inch, 15-inch, 17, 17, another 20, and another 20. These IBM monitors are freaking heavy. They're, they've got to weigh like 25 pounds, 30 pounds. Kind of caught me off guard when I picked it up. And I've got an HP scanner. It's a USB one. I don't really have a use for this thing. I'll probably just uh, take it apart, use the motors. There's a... I think this is a photo smart printer. The guy said he's not using it only because one of the 
ink cartridges, if you can see down there, exploded everywhere. And he didn't feel like cleaning it, so he just threw it out. Which is nice, because, you know, if you've got extra printers, you don't have to clean one out when it blows up in your face. I think, you now one of these... Oops. Probably just ruined that monitor. Put a giant hole through it. Um, one of these computers, I was told the BIOS, BIOS takes forever to actually come up and then it takes a long time for it to post. Don't know what's wrong with that. I'm assuming that one of the drives has got a jumper configured incorrectly because that's what I've noticed before. How the hell do I get this case off? Push it? That's painful. Oh, okay. Pull up. Like that. And then almost chop your finger off. Um, one of these is a server. Oh, that's cool. It's a dual processor. I thought he said it was just dual core, but it must be dual processor as well. I don't know how much RAM that is. It looks like it's a... I own the 256, this first one. So maybe it's got a 2 gigs. No, that, that math doesn't add up. Maybe it has 1 gig. Oh, yeah. One and a half. Sounds right. Um, it's got some pretty serious looking connections on here. It definitely was a server. I don't know if it's any good, but hey, we're gonna find out. Got big fans on there. It's got a fan on the um, ship down there. Got this cool air duct on the side. I haven't seen one of those yet. That'll be another video. And apparently in another video I'm going to be putting that back together because I can't be bothered to do that. Uh, here's another pretty heavy duty case. Uh, it has a key and I don't have one. Darn it. But it's unlocked. So I take that back. Um, well, I gotta set you down again. It's got two pull tabs. Pull the case off. It's got that same board that was in the box that I already looked through if you've watched the previous video. Uh, let's see, it's got four SATA connectors on it. I don't think the other one had SATA connectors. Or RAM slots. Yeah, it's got a nice fan, DVD drive, bundle of cords, fan, hard drive mounts. All in all, it doesn't look like a pretty bad thing. I like the case. It's one of the ones that's designed for airflow. What is that here? It's an Antec Coolfax. Calfax? I don't know. Uh, this is only a Pentium 4, it says on the box, so that must I mean the other one's a Pentium 4 as well. It's got onboard video, which I like because I hate graphic cards because they're so big and in the way. Set this to the side. Um, I'll take a look at this printer. I need to get a better camera. This is terrible. Oh yeah, I'm not going to use this thing. I'm not going to buy each one of those cartridges because they've got to be at least, what, 20 bucks a piece? I don't even know. Avera HP inks, which means I'll probably have to buy something or else it won't work, which I've had to happen before. It looks like a pretty nice one. It's got the card slots on it, all these settings, it's shiny. LCD display. Um, I want to get rid of this thing so I can just flip it over and show you, but... Uh, it's network capable. Yeah. Not a bad little thing. I might use it if the cost of ink is too much. I'm just going to probably parts it out and throw it out. So that looks like... Um, all the stuff I've got. That was a very long three-part video, but... Hopefully you stuck with me and... We're interested. So the next video I'm going to make is 
Um, I guess me starting up computers, going through laptops, testing things. I might not make them today, but I will make them eventually, so be on the lookout for those.